Welcome, welcome, come in. How are you doing this lovely evening? Good, I'm doing quite well, thank you. Thank you for coming for this late night photography session. Mm. Yes, well, I strive to here make some very cozy atmospheres, uh, work with my clients to create some fantastic photography, posed work, and the evening environment and hours not only helps with the mood, but it does also just help with my clientele who work other full-time jobs elsewhere. Mm. Oh, so you have been here before. Okay, yes, I was going to say I recognize you a little bit. Well, welcome back, my dear. I'm sorry I didn't get your name, I don't remember. I'm very bad with names. Okay, well then, welcome, welcome. Oh, yes, yes, so we were doing the different poses and things last year, and that was your first session. Yeah, wow, it's been a year almost already. That is crazy. Where's the time gone? <laughs> All right, well, my dear... I've got just a couple quick questions and things to go over with you, if that's okay. Excellent. Give me a moment here. I'm just going to pull up my computer. Okay. Good. My apologies if the light over there is a bit bright. It's already set up for our shoot today. Um, as you can see, the backdrop and things are mostly ready. Mm -hmm. And over there as well. Like, I don't know if we'll work with this today, but it's nice nonetheless. Depends on what we make some final decisions on for your shoots today. Okay. Oh, yes, I see you here from last year. Excellent, excellent. You were great to work with. Mm hmm. Well, I'm glad you came back. So, what did I put here for you? Generally randomize what type of shoots we're doing based on my clients. Though, this is only our second session, so I'll make some more decisions. But clients who I work with, you know, every week, every month, um, work with me a bit more and have a bit more say just in what we do. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad thing for you. You're not getting bad shoots at all. You're just getting um, the last of the pickings from a big long list that I have. Mm. Yeah, you saw that probably in the sign of sheet. That's just how it goes. Okay. Yes, so the theme for this month for my photography that I'm doing with everyone is themed shoots. Uh, these are often for magazines, because um, those still exist somehow. <laughs> and like different, you know, think of like articles, things like that, that they get sold to. Mm-hmm. And did you, oh yes, you filled out the new form, and the consent form to have your photo shared. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so I've got your banking info and files. Well, excellent. So you'll get the proceeds from that as well, based on how many times it's seen, where they've put it, etc. <laughs> yeah, I think yours was pretty successful last time. That's good. Well. In the year since you've been here, I've gained a lot more clientele, um, some more higher paying clients. So my hope is that some of these companies will help fund, you know, anything you've got going on in your life. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of my continual uh, clients actually are in, you know, school for a time, getting like their PhDs or are just funding, you know, a house, travel, things like that. Mm -hmm. It's a whole thing. Okay. Well, so what I decided here we're going to do for you today is... I've got one, two, oh, three different shoots for you today, okay? And this one, I can't remember. I think we had a bit of props last time, but for this one... We're doing three different styles. So we've got, the first one is going to be explorer based. So it's going to be a bit more costumey than our last shoot was, but this is just based on what uh, my clientele 
and companies I'm working with are looking for this month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's kind of the theme. So I've got some uh, items for you to wear and props for you to hold for shoot number one, which is explore. Uh, number two. Oh, is uh, I think like cottage core flowers, something that would be in a garden magazine, probably. Yeah, like a home and garden, exactly. So I've got like a florally dress outfit for you to wear and a basket and some plants to hold. All right. And third and finally is probably my favorite. I've got a very cute cardigan and a little bird prop for you to hold because the cardigan is like got little birds on it. This one I'm thinking a lot of the home and garden are also going to go for as well, or the cottage magazines. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're looking for, you know, posing for outdoors, animals. Yeah, maybe in the section where, you know, they talk about how to uh, better make, like, bird houses and gardens to attract birds and wildlife. Hmm. Yeah, so we're doing more specific shoots today than we did last time. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of fun, right? Change it up a bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, again, and these ones that are much more specific tend to sell better. They're less artsy in a way, but it doesn't mean they're not as good. <laughs> okay, did you have any questions for me or anything, dear, before we get started? Excellent. Okay, well, give me a moment to grab all um, my gear for the first shoot and then we'll get started. How I'm going to do it t today is uh, we're going to go um, outfit by outfit obviously. So we'll get you dressed, pose you, take the photos, then move on to number two and then number three. All right, excellent. Give me a moment. All right, dear. So first off for the outfit you're going to be wearing, I've got this love, lovely vintage wool sweater here for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's amazing. So I'm going to get you to wear this. Actually, as you can see, kind of with the background behind you, just so that you know, uh, you're going to be getting photographed mainly from kind of like the bust up, kind of like your upper chest shoulders and up. That's probably going to be the photos that or chosen for the magazines. There, or maybe hips up. Um, usually that's the style that they do like. So we're not too worried about like your pants, you can wear what you're wearing, that's fine. They actually work quite well with the sweater here, which is perfect, All right? So I'll help you get this on first and then I'm gonna set you up with your two props, All right? Yeah, just move your hair back there. I'm going to help you because this is actually quite heavy. It doesn't look it, but uh, it's quite warm. Oh, there we go. Sleeves through. Excellent, excellent. And your other arm there. Good, good, dear. Okay. All right. How's that feel? Mm, yeah, warm. I know. That's, that's why I keep the studio pretty cool, to be honest, unless I'm doing like a photo shoot with water or something like that because often these outfits and costumes get very warm. <laughs> well, we won't have to wear it for too long. Then I do also have here for you a explorer-like hat. <laughs> Put that back. There we go. Hmm. It's nothing too fancy. It's kind of like a faux felt material. Alright. It's got that typical explorer or um, almost like forest ranger divots. Divots, divots, divots in the top. A little band around it and it's got the little cinch for the bottom. So probably, here let me actually put this on you if that's okay. Just right about there. How's that? Good. Uh, yeah, are you okay if I cinch this a little bit closer to your neck? Okay, thank you. I know some people are not as comfortable with that. Oh, sorry, 
How's that? Not too tight? Good. Looks very cute. Cute, 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 cute. Cute, 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 cute. Okay. Now, I've got one more prop for you to hold. Um, that's kind of the running theme of each of these shoes. Is you're gonna have some type of costume, outfit, and then something to hold. Which, for you, for the Explorer, is gonna be this globe here. Yeah, I love this globe. Got it years ago, and it's it's got that older style without being too old or vintage. So I'm not too worried about you know so many people handling it and it falling apart. <laughs> got a little bit of picture to it. Yeah. The whole shebang. <laughs> so I'm gonna get you to. Uh, it's a little heavy. It's not too bad. Hold it right there. Can you hold it? Sorry. How about there? Yeah. So kind of. Hand on top. A hand on the bottom, like this. So then you can kind of cradle it, and then move it. I want you to have your hand move around the front here. It may feel very awkward, but it actually looks, I'm sure, pretty good for my end. Okay? Good. So I'm just going to hand it off to you. Okay. Good. Well, feeling comfortable? Feeling okay? Mm. I don't know. Probably getting pretty sweaty already, so I won't hold you up any longer. We're going to get this photo started. I've got my cannon here. Just a simple lens and simple digital camera, just the one we're going to use today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. So let me see how you're posed here first off. Um, hmm. Sorry, I'm actually going to take this off my neck. It's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, because how is that, speaking of uncomfortable? The hat. Good. Um, me just a little bit. Can I get you to kind of, hmm, pose slightly feet apart? Slight width. There you go. Uh, actually, a little bit in. A little bit. Good. Perfect. Yeah, and then the hand around the front of the globe. Yes, hand underneath the base of it. Good. And kind of, let's put it a little more to the left here. Yeah, tuck your back elbow in just a little bit. Good. It's there. Excellent. Good. Right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. So let's take a couple like that first. I'll probably get a couple slightly varying poses for you, okay? Alright. Let me begin. Mm -hmm. Alright. Comfortable? So I'm going to get a couple of photos like this, and then I'll change your pose slightly, okay? Alright, three, two, one. Good. And again, like this. Three, two, one. Good. Um, so we're going to keep this pose. I'm going to go slightly angled from down here, okay? Good. Three. Two, one. Good. And on your left side now. Kind of looking more so at the globe from down here, okay? Ready? In three, two, one. Good. All right, now let's change up that pose slightly, my dear. I'm going to get you to actually, actually sit on that stool behind you there. Yeah, cross your legs, scoot it in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pull it right forward to where you were sitting on the X. Excellent. Yes, that's there for a reason. <laughs> okay. Legs gently crossed. I'm just going to shuffle your legs a bit. There. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the globe sitting right on your lap there. Good, good, good. And you're going to hold it more daintily, more so leaning on it. So a gentle hand, like, on the base and on your lap, if it makes sense. Almost. Are you okay? I'm just going to shuffle it over. 
Good, right there. Excellent, okay. And then just up kind of pose like this. Just gently under your chin. Good, right there. Yeah, casual face. You're a casual explorer. <laughs> Excellent, I love it. This one I think is definitely my favorite. All right, I'm gonna go back a bit. And we're gonna begin in three, two, one. Good, it's the one farther away. And back to our normal spot. In three, two, one. Good, and down lower on this side. Just get your face to kind of look down towards me just a little bit. Chin down slightly, good. Excellent, you're very good at this. Same, but in the other direction, please. Try to keep the globe as still as possible. Good, in three, two, one. Amazing dear, let me see. Hmm. These are great. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. As usual, remember from last time, you get to see them when I finish editing and processing them. Mm -hmm. You'll get to see the final cut of it and, you know, make any last minute uh, minor changes or commentary before I send it off to the companies. Okay. Well, I don't think we need to repose anything with this one, which is excellent. So, if you're ready to get out of that warm jacket here, let me remove this hat. Whoop. There we go. Get you out of that sweater. And the globe. Oh, just, yeah, it's getting a little heavy, isn't it? Thank you. And let me reach in the sweater here. It's hard to get off. There we go. Okay. Good. Good. And pull that arm out. Excellent, dear. All right. Are we okay to just keep moving right along? Good. Let me grab that second set of props for you. I've got this big, beautiful basket. Okay. And thick those plant here for you. I feel like we did some flowers and things last time, so we're going to go with more of a leafy houseplant gardening look. Alright? Mm. Yes. Well, the magazines will love it. Okay. Well, before I give you this, we can get your out there. You can just put this lovely flowery cottage quarry top dress situation right over what you're already wearing okay yeah because you're wearing like the crop top thing it will be underneath the outfit which is perfect we won't worry about the pants too much okay yeah well you see it's got like the buttons at the front if it's too low or anything for you or fits weirdly please let me know by the way but let us get this right on you okay just get your head right in. Right there. Oh, got your sleeve. Good. And where's your other arm there? Oh, excellent. Yeah, it's light, but it's definitely a bigger dress than you think it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Feel comfortable? Yeah. A lot cooler than the sweater. I know. <laughs> well, this one's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to have you, my dear, hold the planter. I want you to pose kind of like you're someone who has their own little garden, their own homestead in their backyard, like an urban homestead. Mm. Well, they love it. That's exactly what we're going to try to go for today. Uh, as well, I think there's a... Two loose pieces here. I'm going to pose you within a second. But I want you to hold it kind of you, how you picture people who work on a farm, a homestead, kind of slightly on the hip. Um, maybe a little bit higher, okay? With your arm kind of around it. You can see that like this. Okay. I'm going to wear it like that. Hold it like you just finished working, but you look like you're at this, uh, at, 
How do I say that word? Effortlessly working. <laughs> it's been a long day. I <laughs> think you can't tell. All right, so we're gonna put it right here for you. Good, good, good. Yeah, hold it um slightly high and a little bit back on the hip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, a little bit this way. There we go. Great. So we have that here. We get it moment. I do have two or three pieces here that are a little loose. These are great for actually putting kind of uh, in your hair and everything, right? If you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Good. So I'm going to start with this one. These are basically almost going to be like a crown piece on your head. I'm trying to still make the dress and your like basket here the focal point. But this will also help the viewer's eyes get drawn up, okay? Good. In your face here, let me tuck that in. Good. How's that? Mm -hmm. Nothing's poking into you. It shouldn't be sharp, but yes. Okay. Yeah, they've got these little hooks here, so it should hook into your hair. Into your lovely, lovely hair, just like that. Good. Beautiful. Now I've got one more piece that I'm actually just going to kind of lay across your shoulder. I'm going to put on your right shoulder as the basket's on your left hip, okay? It's going to look like it just fell out of your hair, or you know, you were just working and picking all these leaves and gardening, and just kind of effortlessly fell on you, okay? <laughs> yeah. Gives you a little bit more of a look like you were actually working. <laughs> Good, okay. Pin it on your shoulder right here. Okay. Good. How is that? Yeah, I can readjust it. I don't want it to fall off for sure. And how about that? Great! Amazing! Well, let me take one final look at you here and make sure you're centered. Good, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. All good. Excellent. Okay, let's get started with the photos. I don't think I'm going to give you a second pose to do. I think this is exactly what I want to have planned. All right. Three, two, one. Good. Yes, because I did have a similar shoot with a different costume and stuff, of course. But similar-ish posing. Three, two, one. Done with another client that I just had in yesterday. Alright, and three, two, one. Good. So, I don't want to have the exact same photos. Exactly. And three, two, one. So I'm going to go crouch down a little bit here. Can you look a little bit slightly to the left off into the distance? Good. Like you're looking at your farm, your, your lovely garden. Oh, amazing. Three, two, one. Good. And hold that pose for three, two, one. Mm, good. And we'll just get the opposite side here. Look to the right, to the distance. Good. Right, you're ready in three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Let me look at some of these here. Hold on. Yeah, they're quite good. I'm gonna get one more from this angle, then we should be good. Finally, three, two, one. Good. Let me take a quick peek to make sure I didn't miss any poses that I wanted. Excellent. Plant on the hip. Look at the distance. Excellent. Amazing, dear. Thank you. Again, that was great. Well, now we'll remove this, and if you're okay, I'm gonna reach right in here. And we're gonna get right on to the last pose, okay? Yes, 
this. I don't want to hold you up for too long. <laughs> No one's getting late, so get through this last one and I'll let you get home. <laughs> oh, I guess the basket. Thank you. And finally, the dress. Arms up like you're a little kid. Good. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try not to tug on your lovely hair too much. Looks like you styled that quite well. we go. Great. Mm -hmm. Quite beautiful, isn't it? Well, I have to keep it as a prop piece for now, but you know, I do often donate my items to my clients for pieces that kind of get too much wear to be in use anymore for photos or repaired, or that I just don't feel fits what I'm going for. So I'll definitely put you on a list if you're interested in this one later down the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I can get some a couple more shoots out of it, but I've had it for a while, so it'll be time for a new home soon. <laughs> All right now, dear. Now you might just absolutely fall in love with this sweater, but I I'm sorry. I have to keep it for myself. It's just too cute. <laughs> it is this adorable vintage blue cardigan with all these lovely, lovely birds on it. I've got the birdhouse up here. You've got a blue jay down here, some yellow birds I don't remember the name of. Another blue jay up there, birdhouses. And turn around, there's another little bird on the back. I know it's adorable. It's also got these little buttons. You probably can't see, but when you put it on, you'll see they also have birds on it. It's so cute. I know. Yeah, so this is going to be kind of a very casual. Let's get your arms in. Bird watchers. Uh, dream. <laughs> mm -hmm. Arm through. Good. And other arm. Good. Okay. Comfy? Yeah. Yeah, leave it unbuttoned. Your tank top underneath actually is perfect uh, color wise to contrast with the sweater. Mm -hmm. That's why I requested that color. <laughs> And so, you're going to be holding a simple, but adorable duck prop. <laughs> I know, it's so cute. This one's actually from my home, but I just had to bring it for today. I knew exactly what the perfect prop would be. <laughs> it's got this adorable little bow, these bright happy eyes, beak. He's kind of got this weird bend to it because uh, he kind of goes over, peeking over like your porch or uh, he's on a bookshelf at my house. <laughs> yeah, but that's perfect because I'll get you to hold him like this, okay? Like you're cupping and holding him and then it covers uh, the base part that's weirdly shaped, okay? So I'm going to get you to hold him and I'll get you to do a couple cute poses. <laughs> So I'll get you to do a couple where you're just looking at me, smiling, happy, relaxed. Not too big a smile, just this soft, gentle smile. And I'll get you to hold him however you feel works for you. And then I'll have you pose a bit for me in the way that I want, okay? Good. Okay, I like that. Excellent. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Right. How about above? Yes, and slightly looking up. Perfect. So cute. Three, two, one. All right. Just gonna step back a bit. Yes. Okay. You do a couple more for me. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I can count on my fingers there. <laughs> All right, dear. But those were excellent. I'm just going to get you to do those couple now for me. Uh, now, I want you to hold them like closer to your chest. Not quite like a baby, but like a little bit higher up. And then do that longing left and right looks like you did with the 
plants, all right? Good, okay. Just a little more to the left for me. A bit more that way, thank you. All right, in three, two, one. Good. <clears throat> three, hold it, two, one. Good, and to the right, please. Just a little black more towards me, thank you. All right, in three, two, one. Good. And three, two, one. <clears throat> Same pose, but back straight towards me. Good. Last two here, right? Then we'll be all finished for the night. Okay. Three, two, one. Good. And three, two, one. Excellent. Good. Oh, I think they turned out great. Let me see. Yes, exactly. Oh, I love them. They're so adorable. They look amazing. <laughs> I mean, all of them, but just this one. It's such a cute vibe, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think I need to reshoot anything. You were perfect. You're very good at keeping your eyes open. I have that problem. When people take photos of me, I can never seem to... Have my photo taken and keep them open. <laughs> okay. Great. Well, those will be amazing, my dear. Thank you. Let me get all this from you now. Oh, yes. I got them. Thank you. And that sweater. Good. Yeah. I want to get you caught there. Good. Excellent. Mm. Mm. Well, that was my pleasure, dear. Yes. I'm glad. It was a great experience for me as well. I'm so happy that you made it back for another year. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm hoping uh, that you will come back more frequently in the future. Uh, there's definitely some perks if you become a more frequent client of mine. If you want to come back, you know, monthly... Every couple of weeks that would be great with me i do have a uh, one or two clients who are moving out of the country so there actually might be some more uh shoots available <laughs> great did you have any final questions queries comments for me before you go <laughs> no. okay well that is great uh again i think it's gonna be about three days to a week until I get your photos finished, and I'll send the final copies off to you to be checked over before then they get sent out. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully you'll get paid and get to enjoy your photos very soon. <laughs> okay, well, you take care, my dear. Please come back, hopefully, sooner than within the next year. And I'll see you later. Alright. Bye now.